Physical and Chemical Properties Lab. Station 1, Color Station. In this station, you're going to describe the color of the following substances. Sulfur, ammonium dichromate, salt, and sugar. You're going to record your observations under color. After that, you're going to answer yourself two questions. Can color be a useful property to describe and identify a substance? Why or why not? Finally, color um, is the property we're concentrating on. You need to classify it as either a physical or a chemical property. These are the four substances for station one. Record your observations. Station two, ability to rust. In this station, you will look at two nails, an iron nails and a rusted iron nail. You're going to describe the appearance of the nail on each container. Ability to rust will be classified as either a chemical or physical property. Here are the images for station two. Make sure that you describe the iron nail and the rusted iron nail. Station three, malleability and ductility station. Copper can be both malleable and ductile. How are you going to classify copper? Element or a compound? Properties you will be identifying or classifying as physical or chemical are malleability and ductility. Here is copper as malleable and ductile. Station four, viscosity station. Lift the fish line above each liquid substance on the graduated cylinder. Make sure that they are at the same level. Drop it inside the graduated cylinder and record the time it takes to reach the bottom of the graduated cylinder. After you've seen that, um, you're going to answer which has the highest viscosity, which has the lowest viscosity. Viscosity is the property you're going to identify as either a physical or a chemical property. Here you will be able to see how this weight drops significantly, while this other one takes a significant uh, longer to sink. Station five, reactivity station. Note, use the goggles before you perform the instruction. You're going to place one piece of calcium and add five milliliters of water. Record your observations. Dispose the content of the test tube to the waste speaker provided for the station. Clean the test tube and place it upside down in the test tube rack. Record your observations. In this station, you will be um, identifying the reaction of calcium plus water as either a physical property or a chemical property. Make sure to record your observations for station five. Station six, another reactivity station. You're going to place three pipettes full of sodium hydroxide solution to the test tube. Then you're going to add a drop of phenophthalene, shake it a little bit, and then add three pipettes full of hydrochloric acid solution and record your observation. Dispose the content of the test tube on the waste speaker provided for the station. Clean the test tube and place it upside down on the test tube rack. Make sure you record your observations. Reaction of sodium hydroxide plus phenophthalein plus hydrochloric acid is what we're going to classify as either a physical property or a chemical property. So you're adding three pipette full of sodium hydroxide solution to the test tube. Then I'm gonna add a drop of phenophthalein. Shake it a little bit.
and then we're going to add three pipette full of hydrochloric acid solutions. Shake it a little bit. Make sure to record your observation. Station 7, States of Matter Station. Study the card provided and answer in the following questions. Describe the molecular arrangement of a solid, liquid, and water vapor. Is there any change in composition of the ice, water, and water vapor? Station 8, Solubility Station. Put a spatula of salt in a plastic cup and add 10 milliliters of water and stir. On another cup, put a spatula of cornstarch and add about 10 milliliters of water and stir. Dispose the contents of the plastic cup on the waste beaker provided for the station and clean the cups. Question. Is the salt soluble in water? Is the cornstarch soluble in water? Solubility is a property you will identify as either a physical or a chemical property. water and then stir. Another cup with a spatula of cornstarch you're going to add 10 milliliters of water and stir. Station 9, reactivity station. Put spatula of baking powder in a cup and add 10 milliliters of vinegar. Record your observations. Dispose the content of the test tube on the waste beaker provided in the station and clean the plastic cup. Make sure to write your observations. Reaction of baking powder and vinegar classified as either a physical property or a chemical property. Put a spatula of baking powder in a cup. Add 10 milliliters of vinegar. and to record your observations for station 9. Station 10, Density Station. Observe the regular soda and the diet soda inside the beaker. Question, which is denser, regular soda or diet soda? Number 2. What is responsible for the differences in their densities? 